friends today are going to draw Tiana. Yeah, Princess Tiana. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need all of your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need paper and... Something to color with. Yes. Let's draw her. Mm -hmm. Let's first draw her eyes. We're going to draw a simple version of her. We're going to draw little circles for her eyes. Her left eye and also her right eye. Yeah, there you go. And then let's draw another circle that's smaller inside and towards the top left for the highlight. And then we can also color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Then let's draw her eyelashes. I'm going to draw two on the left and two coming out on the right side. Or three. <laughs> you could even add more. <laughs> I'll add four. Four. Perfect. Now let's draw her smile. I'm just going to draw a little curve in between her eyes. So cute. Then we'll, let's draw her head. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw a U shape that comes under and then back up. Then we can draw the top of her head. We're going to draw a big upside down U to connect and finish the shape of her head. But let's give her hair. <laughs> we'll start over here and let's draw a S curve. We're going to come down and then we're going to come back up and then curve back down. Then on this side, let's do the same thing down and then curve back the other direction. Let's also give her ears. I'm going to draw a letter C and a backward C on the right side. Now let's draw her headband. And we're going to draw another upside down U shape that comes over the top and then back down. See how it gets closer towards the ends. It gets thinner towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's draw the cute little petals coming out of the top of her headband. We're going to draw one curve coming up towards the top. Or leaves. Yeah, it could be leaves too. And then we're going to curve we're going to draw an S curve coming down. So curve a little direction one way and then a bigger direction the other way. Now let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw another curve that comes up, but I'm not going to go as high. We'll make this one a little smaller and then we'll draw that S curve that comes down and then look, it connects over here to the other one. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Then let's do the same thing over here on the right. I'll go a little faster since we're just repeating. Same step. Now we're going to draw one more on each side, but this time it's going to be even smaller and I'm just going to first draw the curve going this way and then the S curve coming down on the other side. And then we'll do the same over here on the right, little S curve coming down. Then let's draw her bun. We're going to draw a big, looks like a curve, a circle, except only part of the circle. It's pretty big. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> then we're going to draw the little little lines coming out of her uh, crown. We'll just draw a couple of them. And they could be some can be short and some can be long. And you can also put little dots at the top to finish that little detail. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. What should we draw next? Her body. Her body and her dress. We're going to draw two lines coming down from her chin. Then let's draw the top of her dress. We're first going to draw a V. We're going to draw it coming down to the same distance as the side line and then back up. Yeah. And then right in the middle, we're going to draw an upside down V, a smaller one. And then we're going to draw two smaller ones in between. That's really simple. Mm -hmm. But I love all of the cool details on her dress. It looks like it's made out of petals and flowers and leaves. Yeah. She also has this really pretty flower on her waist. It looks like it's on top of a lily pad or maybe it's called a lotus flower. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Let's first draw a small circle. Then we're going to draw little petals that go all the way around. And we're just going to keep this really simple. Go all the way around. And if we ever go too fast, our art friends can. Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Then we're going to add bigger leaves on each side. So I'm going to draw a big leaf here. I'm going to draw another one right 
next to that one. And maybe two more leaves. Let's draw two more big leaves that come out. Now let's draw her big dress that looks like an upside down flower. We're gonna start here on the left and we're gonna curve down and we'll do the same thing over here. Start on the right and big curve that comes out. Okay, now we're gonna draw the petals coming up. So let's curve this way, a little curve coming up and in. And then we're gonna curve back up this way. Yeah. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll curve up and in, and then curve the other way up to the middle. Now we can add, let's add a couple more of those S curves. Then let's add the leaves coming down from the lily pad flower here. I'm not sure it's a lily pad, but it, it looks, looks like one. Kind of looks like <laughs> one, yeah. We're gonna draw, let's draw one leaf coming this way, right down the middle. And then we're going to draw another leaf coming down off to the left. Then let's add a squiggly line. We're going to draw just a squiggly line and then right at the end curve around. This looks like a vine. Yeah, a little vine coming down. Next we're going to draw the, the petals of the flower or her dress coming down further. So right in the middle we're going to draw a line that comes down. Then we're gonna draw a little curve that comes like this. And then we're gonna curve back up. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll curve out and then back up. Now let's add another one right here. I'm gonna curve down, up. And then if we can fit another one, let's just do a little one right at the end. That'll make it, yeah, that'll make it look more 3D like it's wrapping around her body. Let's repeat those same shapes over here. We'll do one more petal like this, and then a tiny petal on the very far side. Then we're going to connect all of these together. So we're going to draw a line that comes around like this for the bottom. We could also draw her little shoes sticking out. Let's do that. Just little teeny U shape on the left and also on the right. Her tiny feet. Yeah, she's missing something though. Right here. Her arms. Yeah, her arms. We're gonna draw simple little arms. We're gonna come down, curve around, and then come back up. Well, I love how small her arms are. Oh, That's really so cute. Tiny. I like it. <laughs> then let's draw that same shape over here on the right. Oh, I love her little arms. <laughs> You have to match it because I don't want one arm yeah. to be tiny, one arm to be like so big. Yeah. Now, right here at the top of her arm, we're going to draw a line and that's for the top of her glove. She has really long gloves that cover up most of her arm. We're almost done. We have one more thing to add. Curls. Yeah, little curls. In her hair. In her hair. Let's draw one over here on the right. I'm going to draw a little curl. Comes out and then back down and then curl around. I'm going to make uh, the top of that curl look thicker by adding an extra line next to it. And then I'm going to do the same down here. We're going to curve down, around, and then curl right at the end. And then let's make the top look thicker again. We'll add another line next to it to thicken up just the top of the curl. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing Tiana. She looks really pretty. But we still need to color her. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, give me five. We did it. Yeah, we finished coloring Tiana. She looks beautiful. You guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. What do we use? Markers. Yeah, but you could use whatever you have at home. We also used a white colored pencil to add little extra shiny marks on her eyes. I also added it to her dress. And then, what, what were these things called at the top? I don't know, but they uh, look like antennas. Yeah, and they kind of do. What else could our friends add to their drawing? A background, like jungle trees and water. Oh yeah, that would be really cool. Also fireflies. Mm -hmm. You also have to add a frog. Yes, definitely add a frog. We love drawing with you, and we hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, you know what? I also heard that they're going to change Splash Mountain, which is your favorite ride, into...
Princess and the Frog. They are? Yeah. It's our favorite, one of our favorite movies and our favorite ride. Yeah. Can't wait. I like the part where it goes down super fast. That's my favorite part too. And then you get all wet. <laughs> hey parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.